In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an easy dream catcher design on your nails. I'm starting off with my base coat and I'm going to apply two coats of Essie's Mint Candy Apple to all my nails. To draw the dream catcher, I'll be using a sharpie. This one's double ended with a fine tip on one side and an ultra fine tip on the other. And you can't see this part really because my big hand's in the way, but I'm just drawing a half a circle on the bottom of my nail. I should also mention that it doesn't have to be a sharpie, any permanent marker should work fine. Inside the circle I'm just drawing three different lines at the top and I'm going to extend them out with two lines each creating a Y shape. Now I'm just going to fill in some of these gaps with some smaller Y shapes. Next I'm drawing three lines coming down from the circle. These don't all have to be the same length. On the outer two lines I'm just drawing some feather shapes. To add some color to this dream catcher, I'm going to be using the smaller end of my Sephora dotting tool. If you don't have a dotting tool, a bobby pin could work just as well. I'm going to be using a white nail polish first, putting some on my dotting tool and just making some random dots sort of on my design. Next I'm using this purple by Revlon, it's called Flirt, and I'm basically doing the same thing as I did with the white. Last is this very bright coral by China Glaze called Flip Flop Fantasy. And I'm just going to be adding some more dots. <laughs> I always like a little bit of glitter, so I'm using these star glitters that I got from Michaels and it came in this pack. And now I'm using my Sephora top coat and I'm going to put a little bit on my dotting tool so I could use this to pick up the stars. Now I'm just applying top coat to the bottom half of my nail that I'm going to put the stars on first and I'm just going to place the stars on. Last but not least I'm adding some top coat. It's really important to add your top coat over the marker design because it'll wear off pretty quickly otherwise. Just make sure you have a good amount of top coat on the brush. Glide it very carefully over the design because the marker can smudge really easily. And that's it, we're done. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!